Welcome everyone to the Entrepreneurial CPA Show. We're here to take the deep dive in knowledge needed to break through the box and become the world changing entrepreneur we know you want to be. As always, we've got to hit you up with the theoretical and practical skills you need to punch above your weight. I'm Garrett Wagner, your Entrepreneurial CPA co-host, and I'm here with the undisputed Dr. Blockchain, Dr. Sean, the man who knows it all. Today's show is brought to you by our amazing sponsors. Prolera, reminding you that CPE doesn't have to be a grind, nor should it. Hanrock Solutions, they provide the how to get your firm into advisory services and accounting fly. If you're a firm looking for help in hiring or a job candidate looking for that next job, they can help you out. Reach out to them. On today's show, we're going to talk about kind of a sad topic, Dr. Sean. We're talking about the death of the accountant. So with that, why don't you kick us off? Oh, <laughs> okay. No, so uh, so basically sort of the I, the whole field of accounting and finance is is changing, right? The two of us talk about it quite a bit. You know, AI, RPA, bots, blockchain, all of these tools are fundamentally changing what a firm and a individual CPA has to do, right? And if you want to survive, basically, going forward, I mean, you are going to have to adapt and uh, change. And sort of on the head of it, a good chunk of the work that's, that is currently done by individuals working in accounting or in finance is already being automated or augmented by bots and automation. And so then that trend is a hard trend, right? That isn't a item that is um, a fad or a short-term uh, trend. It's a hard trend and it's going to fundamentally change what accountants have to do. And so in, in order to actually survive and then thrive, we as a field have to evolve and to change as well. And I know Garrett uh, definitely has some thoughts on this. Yeah, I mean, you, you said exactly. We have to evolve. We have to change because of this. You know, the death of the accountant isn't just a, a splashy title. Here a lot of time, you know, robots are going to come for our jobs. There's anywhere from a 92 to 98% chance robots will take accountants, auditors, tax preparers um, jobs. And it's absolutely true. There is no question about that. And it's not a, something that's coming in 20 years or 30 years or 15 years or 10 years. It's coming fast. I mean, there's almost a good analogy. Just talking about something like, you know, there's a meteor ahead and right for us. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got two options. We can either kind of stand there and look at the meteor come for us and be like, eh, it'll, it'll come after I'm dead. Uh, and you don't kind of not deal with it. Or we can take a couple steps to the side, move out of its way. And the best part of that, if we can move out of its way and change what we do, you're going to be way better off for it. You know, we talk a lot about technology and, and value proposition, value pricing, get into advisory services. These are all the things that we need to do as a firm to get out of the way of this meteor that's coming, mm -hmm. to get ahead of the robots that are coming for us. And we're gonna find jobs that are way more rewarding, way more motivating. The clients love what we do. The clients value our services. And it's a great opportunity for us. But it's to take that change. We've gotta embrace the fact that change is coming and that it's not gonna come in, in 10, 20 years. It's coming now, it's coming fast for us. And if you're watching this video, you know, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna wait for that meteor to to hit you and just kind of watch it come towards you or do you want to move out of its way it's really kind of as simple as that so dr sean for those firms they say you know what i do want to move out of its way how do you think what do we think they should do to kind of get started with that sure probably the the top two things that that i always recommend is that one i mean for the current employees at the firm right from the partners down to the interns, right? This has to be a institutional focus, right? To update themselves, to educate themselves, and to go out there and to find which options or platforms or tools work for their firm, right? Because the fields of automation and RPA and AI are broad fields, right? And there are numerous different options out there. And not every tool is, is gonna be a perfect fit for your firm. Right, so, so, so that education and that analysis and then actually finding those tools that work for you and your clients is the most important step. 
and then part two. And, and Garrett, I mean, you have to uh, hire people, right, who are on board going forward sort of with this new way of doing things, right? I mean, and it's important to, to always keep in, in mind, though, that that headset or that mindset or that, or that forward-looking mindset can be in a baby boomer, in a Gen X, a millennial, or the you know, current crop of college students. But it's important to then hire people and to onboard people and to then build that pipeline of people who are forward-looking, who acknowledge the fact that automation is coming anyway, and that it's really an opportunity for us. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge opportunity. It's a huge blessing for us as a profession, accountants in public and in private practice to really change what we do. And then one of the nice things too, Dr. Sean, we talk about it, it could have changed the perception of accountants from kind of being yeah. that nerdy person with a calculator in the back office to now we get to be entrepreneurs. We get to be value added consultants, advisors. We get to really make an impact in people's lives. And you kind of talked about motivation. Yeah. What that motivates a lot of people is, is if their job provides them purpose to what they do it's gonna make all that difference in the world. So, you know, if you're watching this, kind of that, that's the step is to realize that meteor is coming and either I'm gonna wait for it to come and crush me, which is, you know, the death of the accountant. It's that realization, or I'm gonna move out of the way and the future of accounting is look very bright to you, to your firm, to the profession. You just gotta be willing to take that first step of the driving change. You know, we talk about change a lot, you know, whether it's live in person or event like this, you know, as to say, you know, change starts, with us, it starts within us, and then it radiates to those around us. So as you get ready for another busy season, for the wheel to go go around once again, for that meteor to get closer, take some serious steps. Drive that change within you. Drive that change within your firm. You're gonna be better off for it. So I want to thank everyone for tuning in today. You know, it's a sad fact to talk about the death of the accountant, but our future looks amazingly bright. If you have questions on how to get started, reach out to us. And if you really want to know how to avoid that meteor coming for you, click the link below. Enroll in one of our entrepreneurial CPA groups. We teach you the skills you need to avoid the meteor, to avoid getting swept away by the technology, to leverage it, and to be a value-added consultant and advisor to your clients. If you're watching this on YouTube, click the link to subscribe. Stay up to date on our channel and the various shows that we produce to keep you up to date informed. And as always, we challenge you to take action to change the world and invest in yourself.